so hello guys welcome today we are going to build a e-commerce website using node.js crowd operation using mongodb handlebars and javascript es6 so let's get into it and you can watch along how i build the web application and while building the web application i will be explaining to you the steps that i will be taking with giving you the information so thank you let's go and build the app right now so as for the first part we need to go to the folder in the visual code and install the packages so the packages will be npm install little handlebars which is express handlebars express and mongo db so let's go and do that and you can watch along. We will be importing these packages as you can see. Try to look at it. So, under box. Okay. And mongoose package. For MongoDP implementation only. Okay, so. Let's wait for showing these packages so Okay now installation part is done so let's see so we have the normal modules as you can see it has When we go to packages and you can see that we have installed those packages so body pass express so now let's feed the app So you can see now I have created three folders controller models and views so go and create them and then these folders will be used to store the application data and also create the app.js yes. so in the app.js we need to require the packages that we already installed so let's go and head and do that I require the folder model In the 
Xbox package. So now you can see that there is a little bit of code. So here we have required the needed packages. So I, here you can see that. So just pass. I will. Okay. So this, these are the packages that we all want to require, like I said. And then constant app is equal to the express. This all is in the documentation of these packages so you can go and look at that and get an understanding about this also but these are like a templating code like in every tutorial these codes will be used so I will not be looking to like give you much explanation about this because in every one you will be using this this is like really needed code so just type them in and let's get it started so these are relevant to the packages and then we will get the other things
so we already <coughs> created the first part of this project so we can now go and see if this is running or not but the thing is if we go to this port this video server will be running on this port so this is a local host port port that will be running this code so the other thing is that we use the engine and we use the directory and views so this this is the folder that we will be using to store the views which mean the home page content page and everything so this is like that meaning on that so the view engine is hbs so hbs is here hbs is the extract name we using we'll be using the express handle bus as in here so it is i hope you got some kind of understanding about this it, there's not much to understand about this but just like code written in here as you can see okay mm, let's go to the next parts and we'll see so now you can see some code in the editor so you might be wondering what is this code what is this code okay so, I'll get to that. so in fjs file we, we can see that we have required these these packages these required packages express and express handbars and body parts so we also included the mongodb which is the mongoose package that mongodb database is implementation is based on package so in mongoose package we will be importing that in a separate js file in the model called db.js in this file so we require package package and then this is completely in the documentation so you can go and check it out in the documentation this is like boil pet code this boil pet code co code which is meaning that this code is used everywhere so this is like you connect to the local host database there now we don't have a database in the internet so we will have to connect it to the local host server so if you don't know much about the databases i recommend you to go and watch some of the tutorials so i will be doing another tutorial on the mongodb also so you can go and check them out and come back with a clear mind about this so this is not a beginner level project that's what i want you to know and also you can see that i have uh, like i said if there is an error in this package so error Will be showing there if not we will be connecting to the database so this is connecting to the database in our local host and then we will be creating an schema so schema is like a object in the mongoose in the mongodb database so it's like a object in in the database so that's much i can explain it so this is an item schema just to show you that this is like something like this but we need more in it so we'll be talking about that so <laughs> we have created the database in our local server right now so as you can see i have created another model case file that got ordered a model this is the part that we will be storing our object that means the object that we will be saving into the database so it will be saved inside the order dot model js file also there's another thing i have forgot to mention that is in here if you go in here and you can see that here in it is written in the index so you need to change it to the app.js in order to work this out and also the other thing is now now the order.model.js file okay i have created an order.model.js file here and you can go and connect it to the mongoose server also and then what is happening here we make an schema that means an object type object type kind of a thing is thing and it has uh, two attributes or parameters order name or order or the total total will be used. so how many total number of orders and what is the name of the order so and then we do it as a model of 
make it more model out of that cold order orders schema so keep this in like poor form so you can get on about it so let's go so welcome back guys now i have gone through the project a little more so i will be explaining you everything so we talk about the object that the mongoose file that we will be building about so here we it is you can see that the order schema is the pile type that we will be in so we build the model name order so we will be using that so then i want you to go and create this order control.js file and here i will be quickly giving you that if this everything is working fine until now we will see that so here i want you to go and run to require the express server and then require the express package i'm sorry then uh, set the router express router and then get the router and get the home page so home page i don't think you have built so go ahead and the views you can build the ad admin.hbso home page and browser okay so you build these two files and you will be seeing that home page will be the first page that we will be going to from our server so this is how you do it router.get okay so in the next time okay after that I want you to go in here see that default layout section so I want you to change that to false because we will be not using the default layout we will be using the home page to go so default layout we will be changing that to false and I dot use open order control so also you can take a look at this again and you need to copy this code so module dot exports the router exports the router okay um, let's see it is actually running right now i will mm, so go ahead and write node app.js and okay it is running okay, let's see if it is going okay as you can see our local host 3000 home and blog it is really running so in the next tutorials i will be building the actual e-commerce website using the node.js and mongodb and lot more things to cover in here so in the next things we will be seeing them so good and good night